Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Here we are. It's now Fantastic 14. Wow. Well, we're using that great word, aren't we? Fantastic. Because we have one last week of talking about sport. Running, swimming, baseball, and so many more. What more can we learn? Good question. Well, there's always a little bit more to learn, isn't there? Of course. But let's not forget the most important way to start our lesson. Hello, how are you? I am fine. I am good. I am great. And I am wonderful. Which one are you going to choose today? Well, last week I said wonderful because I love sport. This week, it's the last week of doing sport, so maybe I'll just stick with I am great. What about you? Now, do you remember last week? Not very long ago. There were two types of sport. Individual. There we go, that's golf. Team. And there is baseball. So we can have individual sports and team sports. Sports with one person are individual sports. They are sports like golf and swimming and running. Sports with more than one person are team sports. So of course we've got baseball, football, basketball. All of those you need more than one person. Are you a winner? Hmm, great question. Do you remember we said we scored two goals? They scored one goal. Hmm, so what does that mean? We, the winners. Hmm, we are the winners. What about the other team? They the winners? Hmm. Well, no. So what word could we put in there? Aren't. They aren't the winners. Okay. So we talked a lot about how we win at different sports and in football you have to score more goals. So it's time to think what about this week? Good question to start with. How do you get better? Even the greatest players in the world try to get better all the time. Well, we're also going to ask, when do you do sport? 
Is it every day? Or is it just sometimes? Some great questions to get us going there. Are you good? Oh, well, that is a very difficult question. Because maybe in your school, you might be very good. But then, if you go to a much bigger place like the city, well, maybe there's lots of people there that are good, and you might think that you're not so good. Hmm, so a difficult question. How do you get better? Well, we train. We practice. Hmm, two good words there. There we go. All of those guys, they are training. They are practicing. They're certainly having fun. But are they different? We train, we practice. Are they different or the same? Hmm. Well, they're different words, so they must be a little bit different somehow. Let's find out. So, we train. There we go. He is training. When we say we train, we get fitter and stronger. So when we train, we sort of make our body better for sport. So what about when we say we practice? We get better at one skill. So each different sport needs a different skill, usually more than one skill. So here, maybe he's practicing holding his breath so that he can go further under the water. Maybe he's just practicing the way he swims. That's called your swimming stroke. So we train to make our body fitter and stronger. And we practice to make our skills better. We put the two together and that is how you get better. So they are different. Now, this is a great question. Who helps you? You can't do everything yourself, can you? You're the most important person. You're doing the sport. But the coach helps you. And what does the coach do? Hmm, very important. A coach thinks about the best way for me to get better. So, the coach will tell you how much to train and how much to practice. And when you do practice, he will tell you which skill to practice. Very important person. If you have got a good coach, you're very lucky. So, we play, we lose, we watch. Three very different things there. We learn about our sport from all of these. Of course, the more we play, 
the more we enjoy the sport and the better we get. But also, it's important that we lose. That sounds strange, doesn't it? It is important that we lose because that makes us want to get better. And it's a really good idea if we watch other people doing the sport. Then we can see what do they do that's really good. We can learn from watching other people. So all these things will help you get better. We play sports for a long time. My dad loves cycling. He is now 87 years old and he still goes out cycling. He started when he was seven years old. That is a long, long, long time. When did you start? Oh, they're playing basketball. When did they start? And when do you play? I like to play football maybe twice a week. When do they play football? They're quite young. Maybe they love playing football every day. So, what is next? Well, getting better. That's always the next thing, isn't it? Let's think about the past. Ah, there we are. So, when did he start? He could say, I started to play golf when I was seven. That's in the past, we've got the verb with ED. Started. I started to play golf when I was seven like my dad and cycling. Can you make a sentence? Hmm, what other thing could we say? Anything at all. How about this one? We started to play football when we were seven. So there we've got we and were when we were seven. What about now? I train three times a week. He likes to train three times a week. Can you think of a different sentence? What about you or your friends? What do you do and how often? Let's look at another one. We train every Saturday and Sunday. So that's twice a week, but here we've got the days every Saturday and Sunday. What about in the future? We will win the cup next month. Hooray! So we've got the future. We know it's the future because we've got the word will. That's always in the future. And of course it tells us when, doesn't it? Next month. Can you think of your own sentence? What do you think? How about this one? 
I will win a cup when I am older. That's a good one. That could mean any time. But again, we've got the word will. That's very positive. Great. So, sometimes we're good, sometimes we're not so good. Some things we do are very good, some things we do are maybe not very good. Now, we all have strong points and weak points. Strong points are the things that we do well. Weak points are the things that we don't do quite as well. We have to practice our weak points a little bit more and turn them into strong points. Ah, football, basketball, Oh, what's that? Could be tennis. Oh, now, okay. Right, that last one, definitely not very good, is it? Hmm, that's definitely a weak point. The boy that's catching the ball, that's definitely a strong point. What about the other two? Maybe they're okay. Maybe they need a little more practice. Let's see if we can make some great sentences. The first one's always going to be a little bit easy. I play football. Okay. So what is his strong point? Kicking. Kicking is my strong point. What about a weak point? Oh dear. Oh, that looks a little bit painful. Heading is my weak point. Let's look at another sport. I play, what is it? I play baseball. What skills do you need for baseball? Here's a strong point. Oh, what is he doing? I think he's hitting. There we are. Hitting is my strong point. And which one do we need to practice? Oh dear, the ball's on the ground. It shouldn't be. But I think this is because catching is my weak point. What's our next sport? Okay, we know what that is, don't we? You say the sentence. I play basketball. What skills do you need? What is she doing with the ball? Well, I think she's bouncing. Bouncing is my strong point. If you play basketball, you might use a different word. You might say dribbling. Can you think of another skill for basketball? Oh dear. Well, this skill is quite important, isn't it? You've got to get the ball in the hoop. And that's called shooting. Shooting is my weak point. What sport is this? 
right. Everyone in my family likes to play this. I play badminton. So what skills do you need for badminton? Oh, she does look good. What is she doing? Jumping. That's important, isn't it? Jumping is my strong point. What other skill do you need? Oh, right. Well, he looks as if he's doing quite a good job, but maybe stretching is my weak point. Maybe if the uh, shuttlecock is just a little bit far away. Hmm, you're going to have to stretch. If stretching is your weak point, that's what you have to practice. Okay. Well, we had lots of sports, lots of skills, lots of strong points, lots of weak points. But what words did we use today? Train. Practice. Okay. When we train, our body gets stronger. When we practice, our weak points become strong points. Coach. Very important person that helps you to get better. Weak point. Oh dear. Well, that's a sport that we didn't look at. Uh, it's called archery and it looks as if that is a really really weak point for this person and strong point yes he plays in goal he is the goalkeeper he can catch the ball really well now what do you think is your strong point? Even if we don't think about sport, when you go to school, what are you good at? Maybe you're really good at math. Math would be your strong point. What's your weak point? Let's not think about sport. Maybe at school, your writing is not really beautiful. Maybe writing is your weak point. Can you be honest and think what is your weak point? Well, what a fantastic job. Now we know all about sports. That really was a lot. We've got the sports, the skills, the equipment, the places, the strong points, the training. Oh my word. We know all about sports. All we have to do now is go and play. Which one would you choose? Hmm, well, my favourite is football. It's not there. Maybe I'd go for badminton. What about you? Whoop! He looks a little bit strange. 
Why is that? Well, go and have a rest because next week is crazy. Hmm, do you remember quite a long time ago we had another crazy week? Ooh, why? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You come back and find out very soon. It's crazy, but it's also a lot of fun. Here are our two friends. We know why they are here. Thank you again, guys. This week was really great. See you next time. You hurry back. You don't want to miss the crazy week. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.